Hello. Uh, today I would like to talk about the number in Japanese. Uh, before uh, going to the grammar, I would like to explain uh, about the the writing in Japanese. So Japanese have uh, three different types of writing system. For example, this one it written uh, we pronounce a i. This one is what we call hiragana. Hiragana. Now, this one is also ai, but this type of writing we call it katakana, and then this one is also ai. This one is called kanji. So kanji is the word which comes from China. So in Chinese, uh, they write in a similar way, but it's just that uh, they have a simplified version and the traditional version. So um, we use the traditional Chinese. Okay, so um, now, uh, so Japanese have use a lot of kanji, but we also mix together with hiragana and katakana. So there's many rules, but basically remember that uh, katakana is the word uh, which comes from a foreign words. So for example, we say pen. So the pen, right? The pen is pen in Japanese. So we pronounce in the same way. However, when we write down, we use the katakana because this word comes from the foreign language. So pen. Hi, pen. Uh, we can also say like pam, pang. It means bread. So pang, uh, it comes from a Latin language. So uh, again, it's a foreign language. So we use katakana. Okay. Then the kanji have two types of reading or two or more uh, different way of pronunciation. For example, this one here, ichi, it means one. The pronunciation is ichi. It means one. Okay, and it's like this, ichi. Okay. Ni. This means two. So, ni means two. So it's very simple. The kanji for one is just one line. Kanji for two is two line. Of course, kanji for three is three line. But four, we have a we write in a different way, okay? So each kanji have, as I said, there's two or more uh, different kind of pronunciation. So uh, one one uh, pronunciation is come from China. So when we imported the kanji into Japan, uh, we started to pronounce in Chinese way. However, we also created another way of pronunciation. Uh, for example, ichi. 
we can also say like if I write when I when I combine with hiragana this one becomes hitotsu this one is ichi this one is hitotsu so hitotsu is the Japanese way of reading okay so just remember that uh, there's many types of uh, pronunciation okay so let's go to the number okay as you can see in this uh, box here um, I wrote down how to say uh, what time what minute uh, let's go from the uh, time o'clock something something o'clock so ichi is one ni is two san three four uh, yom yom so here it says yo but we have yom or uh, so as I told you, uh, yong is uh, it's a Japanese way of uh, reading. Shi is the Chinese way of reading. Hi, go, and roku, shichi. Shichi also has two different types of reading. Nana or shichi. So nana is the Japanese way of reading. Shichi is uh, the Chinese way. Hachi, kyu, ju. So only four and seven has two different kind of uh, reading. So when you combine together with ji, so ji means o'clock. So if I say ichi ji, it means one o'clock. Niji, sanji, yoji. So for you, uh, four o'clock, we say yoji. It's not yonji. Four o'clock is um, o'clock is yoji. Uh, goji, rokuji, then seven o'clock is shichiji. Shichiji. We cannot say nanaji. Shichiji. Hachiji. And then kuji. We cannot say kuji. It's similar, but we cannot say uh, kuji. Kuji. Hi. And then juji. Then after juji, after ten, you just have to add one, two, three. So meaning ju uh, ichi means eleven. Ju is ten, ichi is one, so ju ichi is eleven. Ju ni, ju ni ji means twelve o'clock. So shite nanji. So nan means what? Nan is what? Then ji is o'clock. So nanji means what time? It's a question word. Hi. Then the tricky one is uh, when you count the minute. Uh, so we either use fung or Fung or yeah, the both. Uh, yes, so only two. Fun or fun. Ippun, ni fun, san fun, yon fun, go fun, rok fun, nana fun, hap fun, kyu fun, jupu. Hi, this one, uh, there's no such uh, rules, so you just have to memorize which one you use, fung or bung. 
The kanji is the same. If I write 1分 1分 It's like this. If I write uh, 2分 It's like this. However, the pronunciation is different. Uh, 1分 and 2分 Okay? So, if I say, oh, and then uh, for what minute? You say nam pung nam pung. So if I say ima nanji nam nanji nam pung deska. So ima means now. Nanji is what da uh what time. It's asking about what uh, o'clock, what time o'clock. Then, nam pung is what minute. And desu ka is a question. So, ima nanji nam pung desu ka? Uh, what, what time and then what minute is it now? So, I can say now it's ima. Fuji Ju Yom Fun this. Ju Yom Fun this. So, Ima Kuji Ju Yom Fun this. Ah, ah, just a moment. Let's do like this. Okay. Ima kuji juyon pun desu. It means now it's 9.14. Juyon pun. Hi. So, um, last time we learned about how to say get up. So, get up is okimasu. Okimasu is to get up. This one is uh, present tense and future tense. So if I say, "Watashiwa kuji ni okimas," so this "ni" is a particle comes together with a time. Particle for time. Hi. So, watashi wa kuji ni okimasu. I get up at 9 o'clock. I can also say, watashi wa kuji han ni okimasu. Watashi wa kuji han ni okimasu. So, Hang means 30 minutes. So it's written in this box here. Uh, so nine and a half. Nine and a half. So hang means literally it means uh, the half. Kuji hang is 9.30. Ni okimasu. I get up at 9.30. Hi. Hi, Deva. So I will finish uh, today's lesson here. If you have any question, please write down in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.